today we are going to discuss another very interesting topic oligopoly its meaning and implications here we need to discuss the clear cut meaning of oligopoly we have already discussed perfect competition monopoly and monopolistic competition we know perfect competition then monopoly extreme case and imperfect competition where we have discussed monopolistic competition then oligopoly that is also come under imperfect competition we can simply say like that imperfect competition let us start with how this word is derived oligopoly that is actually derived from two greek words that is oligo and polin that is you can just add oligo plus polin then you will get oligopoly greek word aitulla oligo which means you know a few korche a few and polin means you know to sell that is a few sellers or a few firms that constituted oligopoly market then how can we define oligopoly in a simple way we can just say that is oligopoly refers to a market situation in which there are a few sellers that is the keyword number of firms are limited a few firms or a few sellers selling an identical product or differentiated products a few sellers that is associated with the oligopoly we know monopoly where we can see one seller or single firm in perfect competition we can see large number of buyers and sellers similarly in monopolistic competition also many firms or large number of buyers and so but here oligopoly market we can see a few sellers who are actually selling an identical product what do you mean by identical product that is you know homogeneous product or you know differentiated products my plan is to upload a different videos related to oligopoly that is you know meaning and implications then features or characteristics of oligopoly market then after that we will discuss types of oligopoly then you know price and output determination under oligopoly market that is uh, paul m suzy's king demand curve analysis and so on oligopoly refers to a market situation in which there are a few sellers selling an identical product isn't it identical product sell cheyna firms anengil aa oligopoly market ne vilikuna peraanu pure oligopoly market we will discuss in the coming video pure oligopoly or a few sellers actually sell in differentiated products then that oligopoly market is known as differentiated oligopoly so this is the simple definition after that you know you also understand you know oligopoly that is you know is a market which is dominated by a few firms there are number of examples real life le namukku kaanu ottir examples und you know automobiles car industry auto industry then cement steel cell phone we can see apple then you know samsung nokia and so on cell phone then uh, another cartel you know international cartel that is you know opec organization of petroleum exporting countries vienna based aitulla 15 members ulla opec that is you know a legal oligopoly at a global level isn't it saudi arabia iraq iran inganeyulla 15 olam rajyangal adangiyittulla opec that is you know pure oligopoly which is actually producing and selling homogeneous product that is oil and gas but in car industry or automobile industry we can see differentiated products bmw audi and other types of car that is you know differentiated oligopoly then we will discuss all these things and you also understand the concept like you know oligopoly market is also called competition among the few that point actually highlighted by american economist william fellner we can conclude our discussion by stating that you know oligopoly market that is in a very realistic market structure in the world nammal kaanuna nammal feel cheyna experience cheyna oru market aanu the oligopoly market here we can see a few firms uh, we can simply say the firms uh, maybe you know 3 to 15 firms 
they actually act as price makers because you know they have very large firms and they have high concentration ratio isn't it anja mudale 7 vareulla firms allengi 15 vareulla firms market inde 60 mudal 70 shadamanam vare share a firms in irikku very large firms that is why you know oligopoly market resembles high concentration ratio and among the firms we can see interdependence that is that is the unique feature of oligopoly a high level of interdependence or mutual interdependence parasparam avarulla relation that is a firm take any action related to price or output only by considering the action and the reactions of his rivals okay price cut ayya price rise ayya adu pole idu poyam bandapetta karyangal okke decision edukkumbol avare edu focus ayyum rival firms inde action endha irikkum avare counter actions endha irikkum reactions endha irikkum ennu nokkiittu mathrame avarku endha yan pattullu market ile karyangal okke theermanichu povu that is you know we can see mutual interdependence and, and everything simply we can say under this market you know which is actually dominated controlled by a few large firms okay in the coming video we will discuss the important features or key characteristics of oligopoly okay have a nice day thank you